All right, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. I think everybody has heard my story about being lucky enough to head on down to uh, SummerSlam this year for the uh, Saturday access as well as the Sunday. I was able to pick up uh, VIP access tickets for uh, John Cena, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and The Shield. And then uh, I'm sure I'll be meeting some other people there as well. But uh, one of the highlights of the whole weekend... Uh, was to meet uh, Triple H. Um, second on my list was to make sure that I got to meet Shawn Michaels. And then third, I wanted to make sure that I could meet uh, John Cena. I was super surprised that I got all three, including the Shield. Uh, VIP access tickets. Everybody knows that you're very lucky uh, to get any, and I was able to get four. Uh, SummerSlam is by far uh, the most awesomest event. So I wanted to make sure. I think everybody knows that... Uh, at SummerSlam 2011, I had freaking yeah, yeah, 88. I uh, get uh, my Undertaker WrestleMania 27 match. Uh, plaque. This is one of my favorite matches of all time, honestly. Uh, signed by Triple H. Uh, right there. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Uh, and matching over by, with The Undertaker. Uh, freaking yeah, 88 got that signed for me. I bought his ticket. He was able to meet Triple H. Uh, this time, I'm going to be able to meet him. But, um... You know, I was trying to get something monumental uh, for the occasion, for meeting him. Uh, this, of course, through WB Shop, is already signed by The Undertaker. Uh, and, I've, and I've busted one of these open before. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do it again, but I'm not sure. In my last video of opening it up, I just sort of showed you the finished product after it was all said and done for. Um, but we're going to do it here, uh, semi-sort of live, uh, as I can, because I can't really do a whole lot because I have to hold my phone and I need both hands as I go, but we'll sort of do the step by step as we take it along. You know, getting uh, Triple H to sign up here in this corner. Uh, Shawn Michaels is signed, obviously down here where he is in this bottom corner. But uh, we'll see what it looks like when we're all done. Twenty and zero, April first, two thousand twelve, sitting in row eight. Who would have thought how awesome that night would have been? All right, here is the plaque. All I've really done is take off the plastic card guard uh, that surrounds it and the. Uh, Corners are exposed now. I took the little bubble wrap uh, sides off of there. Uh, for the next step, we're actually going to take the plaque and we're going to flip it over. Um, as you can see, it is taped down with a piece of cardboard over the back that holds on the certificate of authenticity. Uh, right here, these little things uh, need to come off. If I can remember right, they just sort of whoop, they're just stapled on. So that way during shipping, your uh, hooks that hold on the backing uh, don't come off. But they just these things are just real easy. Just pull out. No big deal. They come off like there. From there, we're going to spin this around so we're working north and east, west, south. You can see right along here where the binding is. You can see right where you're going to put... Oh, I forgot. All right, we're going to need a screwdriver because the one important part is you don't have to take this all the way off, but you have to take one side off. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, I went and got it. Uh, nothing real big and fancy. Just any sort of screwdriver will work. Obviously a Phillips head screwdriver. I was saying I only needed to take one of these off, but I'm actually going to be removing both of them because I was thinking I'm going to be having to take this in and out of the case twice during the uh, SummerSlam uh, in order to uh, get it signed because obviously I'm going to want to put it back inside the frame uh, when I'm done. So I'm going to have to take both of them out. Just take the screws. You're going to take that out and this whole piece will pop up like this. You're, I'm going to take this other side off while you're not watching. And all I'm really see, really going to do is set this to the side and make sure it's not it's somewhere where I'm not going to lose it, and I'll put it back on when I get back. All right, for anybody asking, the, the before we were superstars 2 has a lot of value. You can store your cash in there as well as store the rope that holds on the thing. I'm going to keep them in there, so that way they're obviously somewhere that I'm not going to lose them by putting them somewhere they're going to jump off, and then I'll put them right back on my DVD shelf. Alright, for the next thing, you're going to need a normal box cutter. This is a normal sort of protectant box cutter you can get at any store. Uh, with a razor blade, it's going to come out like that. 
exposed uh, so you're not going to hurt yourself. And then remember when I said you're going to find that little bind right there. You can sort of put your finger on it and sort of press it. And that's right where you're going to put the razor blade. And it's going to go right in. You're going to hold it at about a 90 degree angle. And you're just going to cut through this tape. All you're cutting is tape here for you. Don't really be that scared because there's a piece of cardboard underneath. It's going to be a little hard in the corner where um, the tape is overlapping. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this part. Obviously, you know how to use a razor blade and cut tape. We're just going to cut around the edges, and then we'll be back as I remove the, uh, the back. All right, uh, something came up uh, that I forgot. See this tape that's uh, on here? I said you just had to cut those edges. Uh, something's popped up that I forgot. You have to actually peel... Once you cut the tape off, you don't peel the cardboard right out. You're actually going to peel this back. You have to go all the way around, exposing these little prongs that go all the way around. So you're just going to tear the tape off of all four edges on the inside. That's all you're doing right here on this next step. Alright, I took the uh, tape off of all four corners. Took a little bit of the cardboard off right there, but that's no big deal. All four corners are exposed. Now you're going to get something um, that's going to be able to get up underneath these prongs. It's a little hard working like this, like working through a telescope. This thing works for me. I think I actually used it this side. I'm going to pick this up, and you're actually going to get these prongs. You have to get underneath them, and you have to bend them where they're all the way up in the air. Like that. You're not going to want to hit it on them too hard, because you want to make sure that you're not breaking them off. You are going to need them once you're finished. So get to that point and then hit me back. Alright now I've gone all the way around and exposed all of the tabs where they're completely up in the air. You want to make sure that there's no room for air. Just put your thumbs on them and sort of push them back a little bit more. That razor blade thing worked for me perfectly. It just was a lot easier when I wasn't looking through the eye of the camera. And then this piece of cardboard is going to come completely up. Bloop. And from there, you're going to expose what actually is the picture. And we're just holding the rope in. These right here are little pieces of... I apologize. These right here are actually just little pieces of foam that build the box art. Because obviously, the picture is going to be more flush. And the ring rope is actually thick. is actually encased inside of a little housing right here. And I need to make everything... Uh, the same thickness all the right way around. Now this honestly is a tight squeeze and is a little bit of a bitch. Um, I tried to... there we go. It's a little bit easier if you pick it up from the middle it feels like, but it still feels like it's giving a little bit of leeway around the edges. So you don't want to yank on it, you don't want to really pull on it, but you want to work it. You, you want to be Sort of picking up at the same time you're moving it around. So that's how you get that there. I'm going to use two hands and I'll show you the finished product when we're done. There we go. Once I was able to use two hands, this was a whole lot easier. This is a beautiful picture out from underneath the frame. The purple and the black jump off of here a whole lot more. Of course, there's your Undertaker signature with your uh, one, what is that, 115 out of a thousand. Right there's your ring rope. You can give that a little feel. It honestly feels like uh, duct tape is what it would feel like. You can look and see at the side, the insides on there. You're not getting it. Oh, there we go. It actually looks like rope. Not maybe not even rope, like wood on the inside. But there's Sean Triple H Taker, the end of an era. Oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. Gonna use a silver sharpie. Um, obviously, like I said, I was gonna get. Uh, Triple H up there, Sean down here. For packing, I'm actually just going to put this right back inside the picture. Like when you're putting it in there, it's a lot like taking it out. You want to be real easy. You want to make sure that you don't just slam it down in there. You don't want to hurt your corners. You don't want to uh, anything like that. You're obviously going to find what's like right here. Obviously, that little prong is giving me some trouble. So I'm going to pull out and I'm going to find a new way of entrance. And then we'll put it back in there. Alright, right there I have the uh, picture back inside of its casing. The tape stuck. Okay, I hear like a little snake. Boop. Boop. I'm going to put this like this. And then I'm going to put the uh, corners 
back on inside here, and then I'm just going to put it right inside the box that, um, the fuck am I saying? I'm going to put it right inside the box that I, um, got it in, and that's what I'm going to bring to access with me and carry it around. Uh, Miguel said that when he took it in there, a lot of people wanted to touch it, and I'm just going to keep it wrapped up. Not sure anybody what I got. But um, let me see if I can flip it one more time so I can end it. We'll be seeing it intact one more time. 20 and 0, WrestleMania 28. It was an honor. Eighth row. I was there. Peace out.